and uh, I know specifically you took a trip trip to China, correct? I did. What was what was that experience like? Uh, it was fabulous. Uh, we I went with a group of uh, industry people in 2005, which is when the uh, World Trade Organization changed and China would no longer have any quotas. So I went to see what the opportunities were there, and I uh, found a lot of uh, fabulous factories and and. Basically, what I say about any particular country is there's going to be good facilities and not so favorable facilities. It's really a function of the relationship and how well you develop an understanding with those factories about what you're looking for. And there are no shortcuts. So one would still need uh, personal reconnaissance or boots on the ground to use military terms to make sure that uh, you're getting what you expect. And it's not because somebody is trying to shortchange you or do something wrong, but things happen all the time. Machines break materials don't come in it just makes it a little more complicated when you're dealing uh, 6,000 miles away and uh, again one needs to understand the culture of each country that you're working in uh, as far as the logistics and communication uh, how the shipments work and the logistics and understanding of the supply chain management is as important as the as manufacturing the quality of the garment because you can make a great garment but if you don't have the right paperwork or the right broker or the right uh, you know setup for freight it can delay your shipments and, and cause problems just like a quality defect might.